Welcome to Sylvie's Technique Vlog. Uh, this is kind of a special edition of the Technique Vlog in that I'm talking about something that's very generally helpful, which is learning how to train on your own. So when you're traveling, or if you don't have a gym nearby, you end up doing a lot of work on your own. I'm currently traveling to Chiang Mai, I'm away from my home gym, and while I am going around and uh, training at gyms that are here, I've had to learn how to train myself basically since the beginning. When I first started Muay Thai, I would have to drive an hour in either direction to see Master K for an hour or two hours of training, but then I was up in this cabin in the woods where Kevin and I lived, and I was mainly doing my own training all the time, taking what I could from Master K and then taking that home for myself. So I've had many years of experience training myself, and this is actually very relevant at this time because the COVID-19 virus is going around and as a precaution for public health, a lot of gyms around the world are closing and people are being sent into, um, I think they're calling it self-isolation. Uh, so people are away from their gyms and they wanna keep training. And so these are some tips on how you can keep training yourself, keep improving while you're away from your gym. So uh, this is very relevant right now, but it can be taken for hopefully when this situation um, is no longer as stressful as it is right now. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things that you can do literally anywhere. So uh, the first thing is that if you're home, uh, you have walls in your house. So I'm gonna show you how to use the wall for um, a couple of different things that you can do in order to work on your technique. So here in this corner of my room, I've got this very nice wall and I'm gonna set up my camera so that you guys can see this. I'll go over there. So, move my water out of the way. Something that's really cool about uh, training in Thai gyms is that when you start as a little kid, you do really, really high repetition type of stuff. And it's usually just like holding onto the ropes um, or like doing kind of like shadowing things in place. And so you can take things that are very high level, like what Diesel Noy and Shmuel Pet teach about doing knees against the rope, and you can just do them on a wall. So I'm gonna do them here. So there are actually two things to be looking at uh, in this drill. There's a slight difference between how Chamoak Pet does these knees and how Dieselnoy does these knees. Chamoak Pet does them very, very straight up, and Dieselnoy likes his knees to be going in opposite um, angles from where they're originating. So I don't know if you can actually even see this. Let's see if I can back it up a bit. Right? So if you're doing if you're doing Dieselnoy, your right knee is going to be coming up to the left, and your left knee is going to be coming up to the right, like this. And if you're Chamoak Pet, they're just coming straight up like this. But still driving with your hip. And I'll put this down here so that you can see my feet. You want to have a good solid clinch stance like this. These are diesel mine. So your feet are kind of out a little bit like this. And Chamoak Pet like this. For the second thing, just using the wall. Again, everyone's got a wall and we're working on technique. This is something that I actually came up with after working with um, Sagat. Sagat is amazing at keeping his elbow really tucked on his punches. It makes them incredibly accurate and strong. You can use a wall for this as well. So basically, you get your wall in your house like this You get in your stance, put yourself against the wall, and you're gonna use the wall as a way to keep your elbow from flaring out. A lot of people punch, including myself, punch like this. So you're gonna keep your elbow from flaring out by staying against the wall. Like this, you can throw elbows, you can throw hooks, and you can turn around, work on your opposite side, jab, elbow, hook, right? All of this is working on technique, so you're getting better while doing it 
at home, <laughs> completely isolated. If you have a wall in your house, you can totally do this. So that's my technique vlog <laughs> about how to train at home while you're isolated or anywhere you need to go when this is uh, no longer the virus situation and you're traveling for work or something like that and you wanna be working out in your hotel room. These are things that you can do literally anywhere. If you guys wanna see more things that you can be working on, click on the link in the description below. I'm gonna be talking about some more things that you can be working on for my patrons going over there. <laughs>